the virus is transmitted so fast. This is like a wildfire that has spread. And we believe probably over a million people have been infected in approximately 10 months. The chikungunya virus causes headaches and fever, then disabling joint pain that can last for years. Painful arthritis, debilitating arthritis that gets people to where they can't walk or can't do their daily functions in life. And currently there is no effective treatment against chikungunya. We do that using these multi-well plates. But Dr. James Crow, director of the Vanderbilt Vaccine Center, is working on that. He and his research team are developing antibodies to fight chikungunya. The current issue of cell host and microbe details their work. While some chikungunya infections have occurred here, most of the U.S. cases in the past two years are people who return from infected areas, countries where mosquitoes are transmitting the disease. Uh, when a mosquito bites an infected person and then finds a nearby uninfected person and the mosquito bites and during the bite transmits the virus. Chikungunya started in Africa 50 years ago. The first case uh, in our hemisphere occurred in the Caribbean in uh, October of 2013, but now we've seen cases transmitted in the United States. So the question is, are we about to have a big outbreak uh, in the United States. We're back inside the labs where the containment is. They're actually dealing with the chikungunya cell lines right now. With a few ounces of blood from an already infected person, researchers find chikungunya cells. So here I'm just refeeding them so that way they have plenty of nutrition to continue to grow. Then it's processed to retrieve its DNA and genes. We can actually bust open the cells and get the DNA out and we can make billions of copies of that DNA uh, in the lab. They have isolated three dozen chikungunya antibodies so far. And, and now we've shown that they work against the virus. They kill the virus. They work in the lab, in test tubes. We're pretty excited about the antibodies. We, we have potential prevention and treatment in our hand. The goal would be to have them in human beings within about a year from now. The hope is the treatment will ease the pain and suffering in the many who become infected with chikungunya. In Nashville, Barb Kramer reporting.